Hello everyone, my name is Alice Freeman and I am a Geophysics Data Manager at the UK Polar Data Centre. I have prepared this presentation with my colleague Julien Boda and today I will present on improving fairness of our geophysics data sets at the UK Polar Data Centre. The UK Polar Data Centre is a long-term repository for polar and cryospheric data. It's based at the British Antarctic Survey and we have been accredited with the Core Trust Seal certification. The data that are, we are handling are very diverse, uh, reflecting the multidisciplinary nature of polar science. We are handling marine, biological, space weather, geophysics, ozone and meteorological data, as well as physical samples. But today I will focus my presentation on airborne geophysics. Airborne geophysics are geophysics data sets that have been collected from an aircraft. So you have uh, an image of the twin rotor on the left. Uh, this is the main aircraft that is used by the British Antarctic Survey to uh, collect uh, our geophysics data. So we are collecting mainly aerogravity data that are used to map changes in crystal thickness, our magnetic data that are used to determine the Earth magnetic field and its anomalies, as well as radar data that are used to determine ice thickness in polar regions. All these data are crucial because they contribute directly to our understanding of the sea level rise potential of the Antarctic ice sheets. So that's why it's very important for us uh, to improve findability, accessibility, and reliability and reuse of uh, this airborne geophysics data sets. So in 2020, to improve findability of this data set, we published bed elevation picks for 14 airborne radar surveys. Uh, and you can see on the map on the right, uh, the data coverage that it represents. This is in addition to over 30 of airborne gravity and magnetic data sets over Antarctica. And for each data set that we are publishing, we are uh, assigning and describing the data with an ESO metadata, and we index all the data in our data catalog. So by the end of the year, we will also publish 15 airborne radar data sets, which are representing 1.5 terabyte of newly released data. So to improve accessibility of the airborne geophysics data sets, we have designed a new data portal, which consists of an interactive map. So on the panel on the left, you have uh, the different layers that you can uh, select. Then you have uh, the main map uh, in order to show the different surveys. And when you click on a specific survey, you can have relevant information about uh, the campaign. So for instance, on uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, panel, you can have an image of the radar survey, have a direct link to the metadata via the DOI, or download the data using standard protocols. So to improve interoperability of the data, we make sure to use standard format. So the aeromagnetic data, uh, aerogravity and bed elevation picks are stored as CSV or ASCII files. The radar data are stored as both SegWi and uh, NetCDF. And we also created uh, quick look images uh, for each file so that the user can have a quick look at the data before downloading them. To improve uh, reuse of uh, the urban geophysics data set, we have made sure to use the domain relevant community standards. And we are also participating in international uh, projects such as the Bedmap 3 uh, SCAR Action Group that aims at producing a new data set of Antarctic ice thickness and bed topography for the international glaciology and geophysical community. Uh, the expected release date is beginning of uh, 2022. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask 
at the email address uh, here or uh, have a look at our data catalog at the address given on the slide. Bye.